Construction Week's 2018 salary survey has been completed, and the results make for some uncomfortable reading. Wage-related delays, stagnant pay, and close to a dozen reports of employees being refused a pay increase are some of the key trends found this year. But the big worry for construction is that more than half of respondents plan to change jobs in the next 12 months. My name is Jack Ball, Construction Week's senior reporter, and joining me to help run through the survey this year is Oscar Russo, deputy editor of Construction Week. Looking this year, Oscar, what are some of the key stats that have jumped out to you? Well, I mean, the salary survey this year was answered by uh, more than 100 heavy hitters from the regional construction sector. And as with previous years, Jack, there has been a mix of good and bad news that probably on balance is more negative. I would say that nearly a fifth of people uh, say their salary has been disrupted in the past 12 months. And uh, a number of people uh, claim that, as you said, payment delays uh, kind Mm -hmm. of like long-term liquidity in the market, as well as poor financial management are to blame for any payment delays people have seen in the market. Um, Moreover, a lot of people do not expect to see their salary increase in the next 12 months, which I think is going to be causing people in the construction sector a little bit of concern. No, absolutely. And I think um, the issue of cash flow and cash flow management and general financial management has been an issue that's been touched on at events that or certainly you and I have attended over the past year, Oscar. Um, another uh, key kind of point that jumped out to me as well um, was the fact that um, you know, people plan to, employers, uh, employees, excuse me, plan to change jobs in the next uh, 12 months. The majority plan to change jobs in the next 12 months. Uh, I believe the figure stands at around... Um, kind of 55 to 60 percent of those in the survey, the people that we surveyed. That's an interesting stat. It's one that was brought up um, when I was talking to Mark Andrews, the um, managing director of Lango Rock Middle East this morning, actually. Um, And he was saying that that stat was really one that jumped out to him. Um, And he said that should be citing that the the sample was quite small, but that was something that employers um, should really be looking at and asking themselves, how can we make sure our employees are valued? Um, and how do you make sure that the projects that we're working on um, are really aligned to the, the skill sets that um, yeah, their employees have? So that's something that he really picked up on and said that's something that I think our readers will really kind of jump out at. I yeah, think. of course. And, mm-hmm. you know, Mark touched on a really important point there, which is not just across construction, Jack. It is across a range of different sectors, and that is employee retention mm-hmm. in the Middle East. And when you look at some of the statistics that will be revealed by the salary survey. Uh, What really stood out for me as well is that um, more than, I think it's close to 75% of people do not expect their salary to increase Mm -hmm. in the next 12 months. And while there is no, you know, there may not be any correlation between people looking to leave jobs and people not expecting a salary increase, it's something employers need to be very cognizant of moving forward. And you touched on it, you know, employees will need to look at how they retain the best Mm -hmm. staff because people will be maybe, you know, maybe a project's winding down, maybe the employee's not getting paid by the clients, maybe they will look to move on to another contractor or another consultant who has better relations with the clients. But these are some of the trends, and as always, the salary survey shows some good and bad news. Mm. But, you know, it will make for some uncomfortable reading, but I think there are some some good stories to come out of it as well. No, I completely agree, Oscar. It's it's not all doom and gloom. Um, But I think one one key trend I just want to pick up very quickly on was the fact that, employees are now looking at um, at projects as opposed to companies themselves. So they're looking at the projects that companies working on and seeing you know, how, um, how they can complement that project. And it's not so much, I'm looking to join this contractor or this consultant, it's like, what are they working on that they're most interested in um, when they're approaching that company and potentially staying on with that company. So that's going to be, that's a macro trend as well that we're seeing, not just in construction, but that's interesting to see how that's going to play out over the next kind of couple of years in the job market here and kind of more widely as well. Yeah, I certainly think so. Mm-hmm. Oscar, thank you for joining me to run through this year's survey. Some uh, illuminating stats, I think. I think so, and I think it'll give people a lot of insight into how they plan their staff retention and their uh, you know, remuneration moving forwards, Jack. Absolutely, I think so. You've been watching Construction Week in Focus. We are pleased to be giving away a limited number of email vouchers worth 500 dirhams to spend at a range of fantastic places. To get your hands on one of these vouchers, as usual, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like your video, leave a comment, and share it with all your friends. And the winners will be con- contacted directly excuse me, by Construction Week. Don't forget that we publish new episodes every Tuesday at 9 a.m. But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.